Psalm 58. Does it ever burden you that the righteous seem to be suffering while the wicked seem to be escaping suffering? Have you ever gotten the bad end of a deal while somebody else, perhaps even a professed Christian, came out on top after doing something he shouldn't have done? Then what David writes in Psalm 58, verses 10 and 11 will encourage your heart. Here's what he says. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance, so that a man shall say, Verily there is a reward for the righteous. Verily he is a God that judgeth in the earth. The first thing we have to do when we're hurt by somebody else, when we seem to be getting the bad end of a deal, is to accept the burden and to realize there really is no justice in the world today. Oh, there's some justice, of course, and we're grateful for what the law is doing. But fundamentally, it seems that those who are doing good are being persecuted, and those who are doing evil are being promoted. Accept the burden of this seeming inequality. That's the way things are in this world. Secondly, leave the whole thing with the Lord. You see, our problem is that when somebody does something that shouldn't be done, we right away want to plunge in and get involved. Well, leave it with God. He says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. So that a man shall say, verily there is a reward for the righteous. Verily he is a God that judgeth in the earth. And that leads us to our third word of counsel. Wait on the Lord, your reward is yet to come. You see, as far as this world is concerned, this is heaven for the unsaved. Uh, They never will face the joys and the blessings and the glory of heaven with the Lord. But you and I don't have our heaven in this world. We have our heaven yet to come. Heaven is a place of unmixed joy. Hell is a place of undiluted sorrow. But here in this world, we have a mixture of sorrow and joy. Wait, your reward is yet to come. Leave it with the Lord. Just roll that burden upon him, and he will take care of it. He promises because he is a God that judges in the earth.